Hey guys, your boy Funk Roberts here from FunkMMA.com and today I've got an awesome kettlebell workout for you strikers out there. Muay Thai, kickboxers, boxers, karate, this workout is specifically for you. Now in this workout I break it down into two sections. The first part is the strength part where you're going to have three exercises that you do four reps and for sets. The second part are conditioning. So I put you through some conditioning exercises, a couple of exercises that will help with overall conditioning. Again, this workout is specifically designed for you uh, strikers but obviously Obviously anyone can use it, whether you do MMA or you're even a grappler, you will find these definitely uh, uh, beneficial. We use a lot of bo uh, lower body uh, exercises and exercises as well that will help you with your finish. So when you strike, you also finish straight. So you'll see that with the swings, you'll be swinging straight and with uh, uh, one of the exercises, you'll see that it mimics an uppercut. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Please take a look. I will guide you through the exercise as I do them as well. All the information will be after this, after this intro. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, leave your comments below, and if you're on Facebook, please like this and share this as well, all right? Anyways, I'm Funk Roberts from FunkMMA.com. Make sure you grab your kettlebells and also look out for our six-week Kettlebell for Fighters program. You guys do not want to miss this. Build strength, conditioning, cardio, all built up into one, all right? Anyways, I'm Funk Roberts from FunkMMA.com, but now it's your turn to get it done. Okay, so the first part of the workout is the strength section where we're performing three exercises for sets and reps, the renegade row, the pistol squat, and the figure eight uppercuts. First exercise, alternating renegade row. As you can see here, I'm going slow and I'm not uh, rotating my obliques or hips. And this anti-rotation will translate in the power you need to generate when you're throwing kicks, punches, or avoiding throws and tosses. Also, as I mentioned before, the abdominals are getting tremendously worked here because they have to maintain balance. Next exercise are the kettlebell pistol squats. Now, this is a tough advanced exercise. If you can't do this, if you look right here in the picture in picture, you'll see me doing reverse goblet squats. So um, you can do, do that exercise instead. But this is an awesome exercise if you want to increase your leg strength and also increase athleticism and mobility uh, for athletes and combat athletes. So as you can see with this uh, exercise, on my right leg right now, when I'm going all the way down, I'm using all the power on my right leg and glute to, uh, to, to blast me up to the top of the position. It's very tough, but a great exercise. Next exercise are figure eight uppercuts. This is an awesome exercise for creating rotational power. You can actually see that the exercise mimics um, that of an uppercut. So as you can see me throwing the uppercut in the picture in picture, it's the same, same motion. So you really have to use the hip power to, to blast that kettlebell up. This is a heavy kettlebell, 24 kilograms. So I really have to work on, on generating that power from the legs and hips and transferring it over to the core. All right, so next up is our conditioning circuit. We're using three X or two exercises or performing one minute intervals each. All right, so uh, let's get it. So we start off with the kettlebell swings for one minute. And even though this is a lower body exercise, we want to end up where we end our punches. So nice and straight at shoulder height, as you can see in the picture in picture. So we want to make sure that we're generating the power so that the kettlebell moves up to uh, the shoulder height. But again, don't lift with your shoulder. Next exercise are regular push-ups. So for one minute, we go right into push-ups. Make sure that you keep your elbows tight to the body. You don't want them flared out because that's where you get your shoulder problems. So try for full extension as well. And now we move to kettlebell swings with the left arm. Again, same, same thing. Lower body explosion from the hips, the glutes. Uh, you want to end off with the uh, a shoulder height, but don't lift with your shoulders. Make sure that you're generating power enough to get the kettlebell off. This is 24 kilograms. It's pretty, pretty heavy. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Make sure you click here to get the Kettlebell for Fighters six week strength program or the link in the description box. Use it, abuse it, and get it done.